Good health to all from Rexall. It's the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, presented by the makers of Rexall drug products and 10,000 independent Rexall family druggists. And this is your Rexall family druggist, greeting you this evening with the wish that you and yours are enjoying all the happiness and blessings of this holiday season. More than 19 centuries have passed since men first heard the Christmas message of peace on earth to men of goodwill. But since that night, through thick and thin, in feast or in famine, in good times or bad, men have struggled to be worthy of that blessing. And as long as we keep that goal before us, another 19 centuries from now, men will still be saying, as I say to you tonight for the makers of Rexall drug products and 10,000 Rexall family druggists, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all from Rexall. And now your Rexall family druggist brings you the Phil Harris Alice Faye Show, written by Ray Singer and Dick Chevrolet, with Elliot Lewis, Walter Tetley, Robert North, Janine Roos, Anne Whitfield, Walter Scharf and his music, our special guest Jack Benny, and starring Alice Faye and Phil Harris. <laughs> The Harris children, like all others, have been on their best behavior for weeks. Let's go back to yesterday, where we find Alice complimenting her children on their good deportment. Now, you've been particularly good, baby Alice, and I'm sure Santa Claus will bring you lots of presents tonight. I hope so, Mommy. And as for you, honey, you've been just as good as Alice. You've been going to bed early, putting your toys away, and eating all your food. The only thing is you... You haven't been drinking all your milk. Well, I try, but you know how that stuff gags me. <laughs> Why, Phil, I'm talking to little Phyllis. Well, where is she? She was here a minute ago. She went in the den, Mommy. I'll go get her. Phyllis! Phyllis! Mommy wants you to come and... Phyllis, what are you doing with those crayons? I'm going to draw a picture on the wall. Don't do that! You know we gotta be good till tonight. But I've been good for three weeks now. Alice, that's an awful strain. <laughs> I know, but it's only a few more hours. Don't crack up now. <laughs> You've been so good for so long. I know, but as Daddy always says, it ain't been easy, Clyde. <laughs> Have you asked Mommy and Daddy about Santa Claus yet? No, but I will. Well, children, what's going on in here? Yeah, what are you two doing? Mommy, Daddy, we want to ask a favor. We'd like to stay up and see Santa Claus when he brings the presents tonight. All right, honey. Okay, you can stay up and see him, but now you kids run along. Now go ahead and play. Oh, thanks, Daddy. Gee, I can hardly wait for tonight. Oh, Phil, why don't you promise the children that? Now, if they don't see Santa, they'll be very disappointed. But they're going to see him, because I'm going to dress up like Santa and come down the chimney. They won't be able to tell me from the real one. Daddy! Yes, dear? Don't you dress up and make believe you're Santa like last year. Boy, was that corny. <laughs> hmm. You know something, Alice? I still can't figure out how they knew it was me last year. What did I do that was wrong? Well, for one thing, you were supposed to come in singing Jingle Bells. I did. Yes, I know. But those lyrics, I can still hear them. Ham, hocks, turnip greens, they melt right in your mouth. A candied yams and a hominy grits, and that's what I like about the South. A yam! <laughs> and what's wrong with those lyrics? Well, that isn't the way we sing it up North. <laughs> Can I help it if you Yankees don't know the right word? <laughs> Who ever heard of a Brooklyn ham hock? Uh, Phil, we'll have to get somebody else to play Santa Well, I can't understand why I can't do it I should be able to fool little Phyllis Why can't I outsmart a five-year-old? Maybe it's because you have the brain of a four-year-old <laughs> Well, if it isn't our little feathered friend, Fagel Faye. <laughs> Hello, 
Oh, Alice. I just dropped in. Hey, Willie, maybe you can help us. We're trying to think of who we can get to play Santa Claus for the girls tonight. We want to get someone who looks and sounds like the real thing. Well, I know just the man. Who? Me. <laughs> I shall be glad to portray Christopher Kringle. Christopher? <laughs> well, Donna, my blitzer. <laughs> Find Santa Claus you'd make. I'd it. make an excellent one. I'm quite an actor, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can see myself popping out of the chimney, bounding into the living room and saying, ho, 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 and a Merry Christmas to you little kitties. And what do you, we darlings, desire as a Yuletide memento? Thank you, Tallulah Bankhead. <laughs> I'm sorry, Willie, but you're not the right boy. Well, if you don't want me to help, who won't? I have to run along anyway. I have to meet my girlfriend at the taxidermist. I hope they did a good job on her. <laughs> Say, Phil, I just thought of a perfect one to play Santa Claus. Don Wilson. Don Wilson? Yeah, old fatso. <laughs> hey, old fatso, he'd be swell, wouldn't he? Uh, Don is our man. I'll call him right now and see if he can come over tonight. Huh? Hey, that's swell, honey. Gee whiz, now the kids won't be disappointed. Santa will show up. You know, there's something wonderful about watching a kid on Christmas, waiting for Santa and listening for those jingle bells. <laughs> jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Woo, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Woo, what fun it is to ride in an open sleigh. Dashing through the snow. In a one-horse open sleigh Right o'er the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on Bob Hill ring They're making spirits bright What fun it is to ride and sing A sleighing song tonight Jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Hey! Oh, what fun it is to ride In a one-horse open sleigh Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells Jingle all the way Oh, what fun it is to ride In a one-horse open sleigh A day or two ago I thought I'd take a ride And soon Miss Alice Faye Was seated by my side The horse was lean and lank Misfortune seemed his lot We got into a thrifted bank And we, we got up sot Jingle bell Jingle bell Gee whiz, I hope Don can make it. He's going to be terrific as Santa. Uh-oh, that must be Frankie. Hi, Curly. Well, if it ain't Francis, the red-nosed reindeer. <laughs> Come on in, Nose. Come on in. <laughs> hey, you look pretty good, Clyde. Yeah, you look fine. Hey, what do you got in all those packages? Christmas presents. Got some things for the kids and Alice, and here's something for you, Curly. For me? Oh, you got a present for a little old curly-headed me. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Oh, one. gee, Frankie. That's sweet of you. I... I... I don't know what to say. It's all right, Curly. But the thought. <laughs> you don't know how I appreciated it. Well, it it touches me deeply. You're going to get sloppy about it. I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> don't stand there. Open it up. See what it is. Gee, Frankie. Just what I wanted. Tissue paper. <laughs> Presents under the paper. Oh, oh, here it is. Why, it's a bottle. It's not just a bottle. It's imported champagne. You bought a bottle of champagne for me? And gee whiz, it's almost half full, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
They didn't have any splits, so I bought a Magnum and siphoned it off. <laughs> Where's Alice? Oh, she's inside calling Don Wilson. You see, the kids want to see Santa Claus tonight, so we're asking Don to play it. Why are you getting Don Wilson to play Santa? Well, what else am I going to do? Well, let them stay up and see the real Santa Claus. Yeah, but I don't know what time he's coming and... <laughs> Can I have that again, Herman? <laughs> Why don't you let the kids see the real Santa Claus? You better get some sleep, kid. <laughs> so you're another one of those cynics, huh? A wise guy who don't believe. You do? Of course. Just because you've never seen him don't mean he's not there. You must realize, Curly, there are some things in life that are inexplicable. There exist certain psychic phenomena that are ethereal and beyond the comprehension of we mere mortals. Don't you agree? Oh, and dumnumly. <laughs> Curly, you can take my word for it. The real guy will show up. I see him every Christmas. That don't prove nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Proves absolutely nothing. You see a lot of things nobody else sees. <laughs> All I got to say is it's a good thing kids have more common sense and faith than some grown-ups or Christmas wouldn't be much fun. I know that tonight old St. Nick and his reindeer will come flying through the sky. I'll drop by later. Maybe then you'll sing a different tune. Goodbye, infidel. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Remley. He ain't been the same since he switched to Yama Yogurt. <laughs> Don, but he can't make it. However, he said he had a lot of active friends and he'll send one of them over. He said we'd have to pay the active $10. So what? It's going to be worth $10 to make the kids happy. Honey, uh, did Don say he could get someone positively? Because this is important oh, now and Phil. I don't want to... Now look, honey, Don promised to stop worrying. He'll be here a little later. <laughs> It's 10 o'clock already and Santa isn't here yet. Gee, Mommy, do you think maybe he isn't coming? Now, now, don't fret, girls. Of course he's coming. So, you better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list and checking it twice. Gonna find out who's naughty and nice. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Riding with his reindeer in a great big open sleigh With a great big bag of presents and a give them all away He sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're away He knows if you've been bad or good, so be good for goodness sake Oh, you better watch out, you better not cry, better not part, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Oh, Alice, it's after ten. When is that Santa Claus we hired going to show up? Well, he'll be here, Phil. Don said Hello. he would. Hello. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, Merry Christmas, Frankie. Hey, Merry Christmas. Hey, Renly. Hmm? What do you got there? Milk and cookies for Santa Claus. I put them on the mantle for him every year. Milk and cookies? <laughs> that old man's been working like a dog tonight. <laughs> Let's leave him something more nourishing like beer and pretzels. <laughs> Don't be a funny drummer. I'll put the milk and cookies over the fireplace Where are the kids? Oh, they're upstairs waiting for Santa Yeah, and I'm waiting too When is the guy gonna show up? It's after ten already Be patient, Curly He's got a long trip from the North Pole 
Besides, his reindeer ain't as young as they used to be, and it's Oh, play. keep quiet. <laughs> I'm paying the guy ten bucks, you'd think he'd get here on time. This subterfuge is also unnecessary. Uh-oh, that must be Santa now. I'll let him in, honey. I'll go with you, honey. Yeah, come on. Well, Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. Thank you. Hello, Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, and where's my $10? <laughs> oh, come on in, Jack. Hey, Jackson, what are you doing here? Well, Don Wilson happened to mention that you were in the market for a Santa Claus, and you were paying $15. So I thought I, thought I might as well pick up the 20 Wait a minute, then... wait a minute. <laughs> the fee is $10. But, Jackson, since when do you have to go around playing Santa Claus for money? Oh, Phil, please, I'm not doing it just for the money. There are other reasons. I'm doing it because, uh... Well, and there's, uh... Oh, I could go on naming reasons like that. For... <laughs> oh, hello, Frankie. Merry Christmas. How do I look at my Santa Claus outfit? Like a road company of Milton Berle. <laughs> Fine-looking Santa Claus. I think I look charming <laughs> Charming, he said Where'd you get that messy red suit? It's got spots all over it I rented it Santa Claus, uh, Santa Claus had it last year Was a sloppy eater <laughs> Well, how do you think I look? Like a bloodshot leopard <laughs> I think you look ridiculous Get a load of that white beard Where'd you rent that moth-eating thing? That I didn't rent I was playing uh, canasta with Monty Woolley And I won it <laughs> Of course, you people don't like me as Santa Claus. Oh, pay no attention to these two, Jack. I think you make a wonderful Santa Claus, and you're worth what we're paying you. Phil, give Jack the $10. Okay. Here you are, Jackson. Thanks. Oh, gee, little Phyllis will get a kick out of this. I'll go call her and... And Jack, Jack, try to convince her you're really Santa Claus, won't you? Little Phyllis? Phil, I thought I was doing this for your benefit. <laughs> If it's for a little Phyllis, I, I wouldn't think of taking money. No, it's okay, Jackson. A deal's a deal. Oh, please, don't embarrass but me. But, Jackson, I... If it's for the kid, I, I wouldn't think of taking the $10. Well, if you insist... seven fifty is plenty. <laughs> well, what kind of a heel do you think I am? <laughs> now, Phil... Well, it's mighty sweet of you, Jackson, to play Santa Claus for my two kids. Two kids? <laughs> seven, uh, say, say, seven fifty each. Uh, nah, nah, I can't take any money. I can't take any money at all. For me. Tell you what, Phil, if you wanna, you can buy me a little something for Christmas. Like what? Anything that Alice can afford. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, Jackson, but now look, it's up to you now to make the kids think that you're Santa. This impersonation is preposterous. Santa Claus won't like this. Besides, you'll never be able to fool a kid. Oh, I don't know. With this costume and bag of toys over my shoulder, I, I shouldn't have any trouble. No, but it would be awful if you wouldn't, if, uh, if you don't fool them, Jackson, and they'd... Oh, gee, if there was only some kid we could try you out on just to see if you could fool them and... Hey, where are you? I brought something for you. Julius. <laughs> hey, Frankie, that's just the kid we need. Hey, come on in here, Julius. Now, look, Jackson, if you can fool this kid, you can fool anybody. Oh, don't worry, Phil. I'll just sit her in this chair here, and you watch his reaction when he sees me. Okay, Dad, and I certainly what hope... What do you want, Mr. Harris? I come over to... Hey, Mr. Harris, don't you feel a little chilly? <laughs> no, why? You left your red flannels lying on a chair. <laughs> <laughs> look at... I'm not red flannels. Don't you recognize me, Sonny? Familiar. I'll give you a hint. I'm that jolly old man with the white beard. Well, if it ain't Gabby Hayes. <laughs> he ain't Gabby Hayes, Julius. Look, he's wearing a red suit and he's got a beard. What is he? A Bolshevik. <laughs> <laughs> What's he got over his shoulder? A bag of bombs? <laughs> Julius, don't you recognize Santa Claus when you see him? This 
Santa Claus? <laughs> That's right, son. I'm old Saint Nick. They can't do this to us little kids. <laughs> Leave a juvenile humanity. I protest this flagrant this. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Sit on my lap and tell me what you want for Christmas Or I'll break every bone in your body <laughs> That's the kind of a Santa Claus I am Get away from me, you imposter, you You're nothing but a fake I am not Oh, no What would I find if I lifted up that white wig? A brown one <laughs> There goes a cute little child <laughs> He has all the charm of a wet cigar <laughs> He has the I personality of a torn pocket <laughs> Like I told you, you can't fool well, kids Well, you could fool a kid He's not a kid, he's a wise guy He's not a barometer <laughs> What? Barometer oh. I don't know what it means We'll look it up after <laughs> Well, I certainly don't see it here <laughs> You stay out of there You know very well that Julius is too old anyway he's, he's a lot older than my kids Now, when the girls come down, they won't know the difference Because Jackson looks old enough to be come able... Come along, children Come along, Santa's right in here Well... There he is. Gee, Santa Claus. Hello, Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas and hello again. This is Santa Claus talking. Come here, children, and tell me how you like old Santa. We like you fine, Santa. You're just like we pictured you. Yes, but uh, Santa... What is it, my child? You look awfully old. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I am, little girl. After all, I'm Santa Claus, and I've lived four... I've lived for hundreds... And hundreds and hundreds of years. How old are you? Thirty-nine. <laughs> well, old Santa has to be going now. Here are your toys, girl. Thank you, Santa. Yeah, thanks. Well, I'll be seeing you next year. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Up, dancer, up, prancer, up, downer, and good. Ho, ho, ho! The big ham. <laughs> well, children, what did you think of Santa Claus? I liked him, but I was a little disappointed. Why? I expected him to take out his violin and play Love and Blue. <laughs> you mean you kids knew it was Mr. Benny? Sure, but we didn't want to say anything and hurt his feelings. Daddy, when is the real Santa coming? Well, um... Uh, um... Well, you see, honey, he... he He'll be here soon, kids. Oh, Frankie. <laughs> Look, kids. He may be here too late. Look. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll tell you a Christmas story, and then will you run off to bed? Well, all right, Daddy. But we wanted so much to see him. I know. Well, maybe next year. Now, look, sit on my lap, and I'll... I'll tell you a, a beautiful Christmas story. You ready? It was the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. I thought I heard sleigh bells. No. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced through their heads. The chi... Alice, what are those bells? What's the... Shh, quiet, Curly. It's 
Santa Claus, the real one. But Merry Christmas, Santa. Frankie, who are you talking to? I don't see anybody. The kids do. Look at them. Gee, Santa, we knew you'd come. They couldn't fool us with any make-believe Santa Claus. We were waiting just for you. Oh, sure, we've been very good girls. Oh, what a lovely dollhouse. Thank you. And all these things are for me? Can I open them now? All right, Santa, we'll wait till morning. Thank you very much. And a Merry Christmas to you too, Santa. Of course we'll tell them. Merry Christmas and goodbye, Santa Claus. Bye. I told you he'd show up, Curly. But Frankie, I, I don't get it. I heard it, but I didn't see him. Of course you didn't. He sure is a nice-looking old gent. Alice, did you see him? I'm not sure, Phil. I, I almost thought I saw him standing by the fireplace. But Alice... How could it be if he was standing... Phil. Phil, what are you staring at? The mantle. Alice. The milk and cookies. They're gone. Alice and Phil will be back in just a moment. But right now, here's your Rexall family druggist. For a lot of Sunday evenings now, it's been my privilege to talk with you for the makers of Rexall drug products and the 10,000 independent family druggists who recommend and sell them. Though we're big in numbers, we have a strong family feeling. And since Christmas is such a special family occasion, I want to speak directly tonight to all the Rexall druggists listening in. We're proud that you have chosen to make our family name part of your own. We are proud of the way the towns and communities you serve like and respect you, and of the active part you play in civic life. And so tonight, wherever you are, from Maine to California, from the St. Lawrence to the Rio Grande, Merry Christmas to you and to all your customers. Merry Christmas to all from Rexall. <laughs> Phyllis, Santa said something to you, and you said, yes, we'll tell them. What did he say? He told us to be sure and wish you and Daddy a Merry Christmas. He did? Oh, hey, God. wasn't that swell of him? Look, kids, now you're all tucked in, you've seen Santa, and you've had everything you want, so will you go right to sleep? Good night, girls. Good night. Good night, babies. You know something, Alice? We're lucky to have two sweet kids like that. They're little darlings. Daddy! Yes, dear? Can I have a drink of water? Go to sleep! <laughs> Stay tuned for Sam Spade, then two great stars on Theater Guild on NBC.